about Liam Payne? Because um, this show goes out on election night, actually. Mm -hmm. So talk about straight talking. What do you get him to talk about and how do you get him to open up? It's three days long, so it's not like an, an hour's interview or a day's interview. Yeah. So, um, you know, when he's tired, I, I push a few buttons. When we're doing adrenaline fueled activities, I push a few buttons. So, um, when people are at their vulnerable, yeah, exactly. Points. And it's not that. It's just, it's just, you know, a one to one. It's I've also been there and done it. I've had my highs and lows, so people can relate to me as well. Mm. So they open up a lot more. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, just getting out and about, stripping everything down to the bare basics. You know, from food, from living, isolation, and look, tell me who you are. And he was very, very open, to be fair. Very open, very honest, and, uh, you know, a great guy. I made a great friendship with him, to be fair. You see, since, I... since he's come back, he's spent all his time taking his clothes off. Is that something to do with you, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Did you improve the definition of his abs at the no, same time? No, that's definitely not me. Constantly talking about the importance of mental strength and resilience, as yeah. opposed to weakness and illness and all the negative. I've, I've felt for a while that we should be much more positive in our talk about anxiety and all these kind of issues. That this generation, for whatever reason, feels more anxious about normal life stuff. How do we get this younger generation to be more resilient? Well, they're not pushed. We need to tell the truth first and foremost. You know, resilience comes through hardships, suffering, Competition. Mm. No competition is taken away. We live in this cotton wool society where everything's too safe. So we don't know where our limitations are. We don't know where our boundaries are. Therefore, we don't push ourselves. So we need to just be, be honest, Piers. It's interesting that you say society is too safe because we're living in an age of anxiety mm -hmm. where people are kind of seeing risk and threat everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's a genuine problem, isn't it? So it's, in a way, we're, we're not as safe inside our heads. Yeah, but we are, we are safe Inside our being. heads. It's just as, too much negativity out there being, you know, let's, let's talk about we're resilient humans, you know, we've got so, we're capable of so much and we operate at a quarter of our potential. And that's just through society nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, molly cuddling, you know. Um, Participation prizes at school, it, you can't ridiculous. lose anymore. It's absolutely you know, ridiculous. No platforming people at universities yeah. that you may disagree with. I mean, all this nonsense. Yeah. It, all it does is put cotton wool around everybody. And everyone, you know, <laughs> I'm prime example, you know, pays to be a winner. You know, we, I use that in my, mm. on SAS Who Dares Wins, I use that um, on my courses. It does, you know, it's nice to be number one. It's nice to be a winner. It's nice to be appreciated because guess what? When you hit number one, you're going to, you, you have to, you know, you go down and you will sometimes lose, and but that's life. And what worries me about this whole debate is that there's people who've got real clinical depression or serious yeah. mental illness. They're getting slightly lost in the wash here because so many people who are just suffering from normal yeah. life stuff mm. want to try and attach themselves to something much more serious. And I don't think... I think mm. it's a really important thing mm. to put these two things into different camps. And it's really sad because that is the case, because now you just brush it off, you're like, oh, you're just jumping on the bandwagon, yeah. or, oh, here we go, you know, another... A mental sort of health mm. issue mm. Um, where they because it's all blurred and we don't really know what to mm. expect because where does it stop where does the buck stop when, yeah. and we tarnish everyone with the same brush and for me I'm sort of over it I'm like well listen just suck it up grit your teeth well and I say this it. and I get into all sorts of trouble I know, when I say tell this. people to man up because we yeah, but I'm not telling people, people I'm not to telling share people yeah, but hang on their let me clarify once again I'm not telling people with genuine mental illness no. or clinical depression to man up no. that would be offensive and wrong mm. I'm telling people who've got normal life anxieties yeah. and seem to be struggling to deal with it mm. for all the reasons you've said yeah. they need to man up a mm. bit mm. and realize life is quite tough mm. But you're not allowed to be a man nowadays. You're no. not allowed to be this gritty sort of hunter gatherer sort of individual. No, you don't seem because to have a problem. Because it's frowned upon. You know, this no, but oddly, you're one of the most. Like... I was told by a publisher this week, you are one of the biggest selling authors in the country. Before you go, Piers Morgan said he could beat you in an arm wrestle, yeah. and I, frankly, we cannot let you go. I'm going to encourage on, Piers to man up. Move Come on, on then, please. And uh, let's give you some space. Okay. Come on, then. There we go. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, am I moving? Chop, okay. Chop, chop. Right, thank you. I'll just pop myself over. Here. Come on then, Piers, let's go. Yep. See how big you are then, big boy. Let's go. Yeah. Ready? Piers? Three, yep. two, one, let's go. Come on, Piers, come on. <laughs> come on, I'm toying with you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was never in doubt. Oh, yes. you, you, you made a valiant defence of your arm, Piers. You know what? Man. Half of the battle in life is putting yourself up for challenges you know you're going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 100% of success comes down to 15% of you failure. You will miss 100% of the shots you never take in yep. life. If you haven't read these exactly. guys' books, go and read them. They are unbelievably good it's... books and they're very motivational about the reality of life. It's tough and to succeed in life, 
You've got to go through tough times and come through the other end. The right? latest one That's is the, the fear bubble, one. right? That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Okay. I had no fear when I just fought you. You didn't. I could see it in your eyes. No, I had no fear, but I did get demolished. <laughs>